Okay, I'm using answers that we got in part A here. We got that the parallel force or, uh, of the force of gravity, the component of gravity down the plane, is 195.39 newtons. And we got that in part A. Um, and then we also figured out that the friction force, the kinetic friction force, is 79.613, right? Now, if this thing is sliding up the plane and accelerating up the plane, right? If it's sliding up the plane, that means the, the kinetic friction is down the plane, right? So this guy, this 79.613, is going to act that way. The parallel force always acts down the plane. I can't draw it. I didn't draw it long enough here, right? So the 195.39, that guy will be down the plane. So these guys are down the plane. They're both negative. Uh, the unknown force is, of course, we darn well know it's going to be really big and positive, but, you know, we'll play coy on that, right? Okay, so now um, let's see. This is uh, an acceleration up the plane, so we'll make that acceleration positive. Okay, so now we're set. We just go uh, negative 195.39 minus the friction force. Since it's sliding up the plane, friction is down the plane, right? Right? Um, and then let's see. Um, then we just say plus the unknown force, right? Is equal to 26 times positive 6.2, right? This is positive because it's up the plane. Um, the unknown forces, you just make those always positive. The friction force is negative because it's because it's sliding up, right? So friction friction is down, right? This is our parallel force. Parallel forces are always the component of gravity is always down the plane. Okay, so now we just have to solve for this. It's simply going to be um, 26 times 6.2 plus that 195.39. So I stored that in A. And then plus that 79.613, which I've stored in C. So that's 436.2. positive, right? Yay. All righty. I hope you enjoyed problem seven. Uh, please consider uh, problem seven when you're, uh, you know, learning, trying to learn physics in the future for your future physics learning needs.